Hello everyone, I am Nurian here, and I am playing uh, Kerbal Space Program. And what I'm going to be doing here is I'm actually going to be trying some different things. Um, the ultimate goal of which is to see if it's possible to build large craft in space. Now I know you can do that already, uh, to a certain extent. However, uh, one of the things that I've always seen about those is a single docking station tends to make the craft a little unstable. So what I want to do is, uh, the, one of the first things I'm going to be doing is trying to make a part that has at least two docking ports and seeing if I can get another thing that has two docking ports within the same general area, seeing if I can get them to line up and get both of them to dock. Uh, because if I can do that, then I, that means that I don't have to build my ship down here. I can do it in space. Now, I know that there are some mods out there already that allow you to do uh, wet dock. And that's fine for the most part. Uh, but I've had some pretty bad experiences myself with uh, mods, and I'm just going to see if there's another way to do this first, uh, before I jump into anything like that. Okay, so the best part about this is I don't even have to go into space yet. Uh, what I can do is create just a tiny little rover. I don't normally come into sandbox mode, so just give me a moment here. Okay. What I want to do is just try to build a little rover. Just something that can move around just as I need. And don't need anything that big. Definitely don't need anything that big. Hmm. You know, let's just stick with these. Why is everything gargantuan? Hmm. Or maybe that's just the way it's supposed to be. Who knows? Anyway, so let's see. It'll be funny if it doesn't. Then you all can laugh at me more. Okay, so there's that. And okay, so a bit of a break there. That's okay, because we now have our Clampy Rover. Um. Yeah, this thing doesn't look the best, I know. Uh, but that's okay, because I don't care about how it looks as long as it works. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to get this off of the track. And... Let's see if we can... Brakes... And then I'm just going to let it sit here. And 
let's see here. Yeah, I guess we don't need to do anything with that. Okay, so now I need to get out of here. We're heading to the Space Center. And we're going to get another robot. Another little clampy rover. So, launch it. Now, hopefully, if this goes right, then what I can do is start making larger ships that, you know, I can, you know, you can do the whole cap ship thing, I guess, but also just have some fun with making uh, bigger ships that can make multiple trips, uh, things that I don't have to, um, you know, just basically things that I don't have to bring back down into Kerbin in order to use. Guess. Okay. Take a look at that. Well, that's something, isn't it? Okay, so at least if they're both on the same side, then they can become a singular unit. That's good to hear. Uh, the next part of the experiment, I'm probably not going to do to yet, but eventually what I'm going to do is just create some large panels, uh, send them up into orbit, and then create another panel that's got, you know, obviously it's two clamps as well. See if I can get them to join in space. And from there, we can actually start building, uh, building in earnest. You know, the funny thing is, is this is a lot more easier to control now. Oh, well, I guess that's the benefit of having twice as many wheels. Anyway, what I'm going to do here is I'll go ahead and cut uh, and call it here. And the next time that I load up, I will try the next experiment. And of course, I'll bring all of you along. Uh, I am Nurian, and I hope you all have a nice day. And don't blow up.